Lefebvre, and he is from Lyon in France. And I know him as, as a very enthusiastic electronic engineer, and he's got a lot of lot of projects. Good afternoon, Jean Noël. Good afternoon. Jean Noël, I understand you're having your office in a fab lab. Yes, that's right. Uh, the office of my company, Outside Box, is uh, here at uh, the Fab Lab in Lyon, in France. The name of the Fab Lab is U Factory. It okay. means if you have projects you want to use uh, 3D printing, laser cutting, uh, electronics, you can come into this place and use the machines. But uh, maybe much important, you can have a meeting with a lot of creative people. Okay, and you are one of the creative people, I think. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> you, you are the, the man with all the electronic knowledge in the Fab Lab, I think. That's right. Yeah. You know, when, uh, when the customers of the place uh, need uh, help, uh, learn, they want to learn to solder, they want to learn Arduino, they need help for their project using a Raspberry Pi. So I can... Uh, I can help, maybe. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you can help. You, because you are already busy with electronics. How long? You know, how long? Uh, around 14, as I remember. Oh, 14. Yes, building my uh, first uh, radio uh, or uh, musical instrument. Yeah. It didn't work. It, it never worked. <laughs> uh, tried again, tried again, and one day it started to work. I, in my opinion, the, the key to success is learn soldering or make <laughs> good solder <laughs> and then what? <laughs> oh yeah, good soldering, yeah, yeah. You're doing a lot of soldering workshops in the Fab Lab, I think? Um, that's right. Uh, I'm giving workshops, uh, learn to solder with uh, kids, uh, small, small kids for fun, for uh, beginners. Yeah. Uh, also, um, I'm giving courses uh, how to, to get started with Arduino and with uh, Raspberry Pi also, yes. Nice. I'm teaching here into this place at the U factory, but also I'm going to to, uh, to schools. Okay. Yes. So you go to schools, you bring your own equipment. That's right. And then in the classroom, you teach children how to solder and to do small projects. Exactly. I really love to, to share my, my uh, passion uh, for the electronics. Good, good. It's a fascinating uh, subject, electronics. I know you're doing lots of projects and you have lots of ideas. I see the name of your company in, in the back, Outside Box. I remember that was a sort of a, a touch application you did um, four, four years ago now, I think. Is that still yeah. alive? That's right. Uh, the Outside Box is now the name of the company. But at the beginning, it was only a project using uh, my own invention in the scope of... Uh, uh, user interface. Yeah, it was a system where you can interact with a screen or with a tablet without touching the screen, using a capacitive detection. Okay. Uh, it's, it it provides uh, the 3D position of your hand or your finger, but also gestures. Yeah. And we we had success uh, with this project, but not enough for the crowdfunding. But um, during this project, I discovered the. Uh, the makers movement, uh, the Arduino ecosystem, I didn't know that before. And uh, I, I've, I'm, now I'm in love in, with the Arduino and the hackers and makers movement. So I decided to, to create the company outside box and to try to make a living with it, uh, providing services, uh, workshops, uh, custom work, using Arduino and electronics. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I know you are a big fan of Arduino, but right. I know you have a project which actually takes it to the limit. <laughs> a very <laughs> special Arduino. Can you show it? Oh, I guess you're talking about uh, this one, maybe? Yeah, it's Is a it? gold Duino. <laughs> yes. You recognize the, the form of uh, the good old Uno board? Yeah. But this one will be very special. Because it's covered with gold for, for real. Good. But it has to be functional. And it's still a work in progress. Today I have short circuits, so we still have to work around. 
but yes, I, I hope uh, to put it on the market very soon. Okay, nice. It reminds me of this uh, James Bond movie, Goldfinger, and now we have Goldwino. <laughs> good well nice very nice project and you will bring it on the market you bring all your projects on the market uh, i think i'm trying to do so but for the moment uh, the business is essentially made with the services but i have a few products that i want to sell online when they will be uh, finished and uh, i will provide it in the form of, of a kit that you can do it by yourself they are all open source projects, so you can do it all by yourself, it's free of charge. You can make a donation, but also you can buy the kit for the electronics plus the mechanical parts, as you want, it's free. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Can, can you show some of your projects? I think you have something very special with IoT. Uh, you know, everyone talks about IoT, but mm. you are having a very special take on IoT, I believe. Yes, the Internet of Things is a great subject, yes. Um, I have a reflection about the Internet of Things. Uh, the idea is to, to ask a, quite a big question. Will uh, the Internet of Things be a place where you will find only uh, cold data, or robots, on the, uh, the way you are a consumer, the way uh, you are living, or will it be a place where us human beings, we will be able to take it to share our emotions. And this is one of the answers we want to provide with the Call of the World project. In, in the cold and data-driven IoT world, you're doing a project which basically starts coloring the IoT world. I'll show you the, the prototype. Show it, show it, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, here maybe you, you see a, a lamp, an ambient lamp. See? Okay. But you can have it at home or uh, at your office as you want. Yeah. But uh, this is, uh, at the first level, this is a disconnected object. You always hear about connected object, connected objects, okay? Here it's a disconnected object. I mean, you don't need an app on your smartphone or a remote control to use this colored lamp. If you want to change the color, yeah. you have to use colored paper. Okay, let's try a red one. So, you just put your uh, colored paper uh, beside the, the lamp, and the lamp adopts the color of your choice. Yeah. Let's try the blue, for instance. Nice. Blue, blue. Okay. But this is only the, the first level of this project. Okay. Um, because, in fact, this is a real connected object. Yeah. But uh, in, a, in a different sense, if you connect this lamp to your Wi-Fi, if you want to, to uh, participate in the project, you connect your lamp to the Wi-Fi, and then it will send into the Internet of Things the color of your choice. Why not a green today? Because you are feeling green. <laughs> okay. And um, it will send into the Internet of, Things, Internet of Things your color and the place you are. And we, uh, we are building a, a website with a world map. And this world map will be colored according to the choice of the users. Okay. This way, uh, we will be able to color the world together. That's the idea. That, that, is, that is way beyond just electronics. This is art. Uh, I don't know if it's art, but it's, I love to say it's uh, <laughs> electronic poetry. <laughs> electronic poetry. Yeah, yeah. Because you have strong ideas about it. You're making all your projects are sort of an interaction with, with, with the human, you know, it's not just having um, just some electronics and uh, a LED goes on and off or whatever, but there's always interaction, I feel. Uh, yes, but uh, it's not only interaction, it's also uh, the emotional resonance. I mean, for, for the gold, we know, you see the added value of the gold to your uh, board, yeah. so it's not only an electronic board, okay? For the lamp, you uh, you put your feelings of color. You want to express something, maybe poetry or something else. Uh, so it's emotional resonance. Yeah. I've got another one. Um, it's an uh, a slot in uh, disc player. You, you want to, to see it? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, we we we're here to see and to learn from you. <laughs> Let me show the the slot in uh, disc uh, player. Okay. Oh. 
This is a, an old fashioned uh, yeah. record uh, slot in player, okay? Yeah. But with the help of Arduino, it has a, a second chance to come uh, to life. It, lo it looks very 60s. Very. Uh, <laughs> That's right, I love it. Back, back to the good old days. Yes. And uh, maybe you, you remember um, this music. Rolling Stones, would, uh, start me up. Okay. If you want to hear this uh, track, you simply put the, the, the album into the slot in uh, player. Okay. Very good. <laughs> okay. Very easy to change it. Nice, nice. So uh, it can help you to uh, to remember your old uh, music you 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 heard when you were young, maybe. Yeah. But it's very simple. You, you simply put an RFID uh, tag inside. Yeah. Okay. So if you have if you're having the old covers of your uh, of your old song and you don't have a record player anymore you know, because there's a playlist I think behind this uh, behind this player and you yes. can just put all your old records inside this player and it starts all over again. That's right. You you create your playlist on the on the SD card and inside the box you've got a, a simple RFID reader plus an MP3 player. Plus the Arduino on the small uh, uh, audio ampl amplifier, and uh, it's, it's all, all made with the Seed Studio uh, Grove uh, system. I really love it. Grove is a kind of USB for Arduino. Yeah, it's, uh, you've got standardized uh, cables, and you've got libraries. You put them together, and it's, it's very interesting to go quickly to the result. Okay. Okay. I think every electronic engineer would like to have. A place like you. We see a lot of components. What is that? <laughs> what, what is that? <laughs> this is only a, a small robot. <laughs> and I also like uh, the sunglasses you have in the back. And the, the glasses you yeah. can see here. Okay, let me show it to you. <laughs> You see me? Yeah, it's great. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you're you're really sixties and hip. <laughs> this is for uh, Arduino-based products, but it, this is not my uh, invention. It's uh, from a uh, Amer uh, American company, Ma Massetech, and I ha I've got a partnership with them to be okay. a reseller in France. Yeah. Okay, nice, nice, nice. nice. Yes. And you, you're, you're still doing also some touch. You also have a project with touch. A few few months ago, I met uh, the, the guys from Neonode. Uh, they are bringing on the market the air bar. Air bar, okay, yeah. Touch when you need it. They, they made the show at the CES Las Vegas uh, this year. Okay. With this product. This is the air bar. Yeah, uh, nice. The air bar is made uh, to, to transform your uh, laptop into a, a touch uh, a touch screen onto your laptop. Sure, yeah. So what am I doing with, with it is to uh, provide this functionality for the Arduino users uh, by creating the air bar Arduino shield. This is the prototype, very yeah. early prototype. Yeah. But the, uh, the most of the work is on the library and uh, today I, I'm I'm able to give on the Arduino the two points, uh, the two uh, coordinates of the two two fingers touch. I don't want to use it uh, into a lap on a laptop, but with uh, different kind of surfaces. Uh, why not um, a film of water, uh, a wood plate, everything you want because it's uh, infrared technology. Okay. So for the creative uh, customers that I have. Uh, in the scope of interaction design, it's very interesting to provide it to the Arduino directly. How, ac got, how accurate is this? You know, can you also imagine that you make something on a, on a, on a desk and that yes. you write and that it will actually record your writing, or you know, is that too much? No, no, it's uh, 
minus than one millimeter of accuracy. So okay. very interesting. Yes, you okay. can play music if you are a musician. Okay. It's up to you to imagine. So you basically you draw a sort of keyboard on your desk, That's and you right. put the uh, air bar with the Arduino in place, and then wherever you touch, it will actually allow you to play. Exactly. Nice. This is work in progress, but uh, I hope in few weeks you will be able to to have to to buy it uh, directly on our website. And that uh, that is. Double uh, outsidebox.com. Outsidebox.com. Okay, great, great. If if you if you have to point out something you know which you like the most in you know your workplace around you, you know what sort of equipment or what 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 do you what is what do you like most? Um, I have to tell uh, a kind of story. Uh, at the beginning, uh, I think people come here in these kind of places as a, a fab lab. Uh, as U factory, for instance, first you, you come here because you want to use uh, machines, 3D printing or laser cutting. But this is only the, sto the beginning of your story because when you come here, you meet people very creative. And in fact, when you come again and again and again, it's to meet the people and to have projects with them. Okay? Thank you very much. <laughs> Forget your gold Duino. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll make sure I buy one if, if it's on the market. Okay. okay. <laughs> Gracias. Thank you. See you.